hello everyone today i will be explaining about panasonic rapid configuration tool which is one of the tools in productivity plus software platform that allows you to configure and deploy panasonic android devices panasonic rapid configuration is a staging tool for it managers or end users of panasonic android devices it is used to configure initial settings and application installs to minimize customer time and effort for their device deployment the rapid configuration and staging tool allows the users to configure system settings. These settings include uh, but are not limited to Wi-Fi profiles, time settings, user button management, enable or disable system components, and the configuration of other system settings. It works with MDM or independently. The configuration file can be pushed to a device by scanning barcode, MDM, ADB commands, or by NFC bump using a master device. Now let's take a look at the Park Tools PC version. This can be installed in a PC. The app is pre-installed in the Android device. And, and this screen shows the, the version of the Park Tool. You can click on new profile in order to put different settings, configurations, like you can see here Wi-Fi. You can put different settings for the, for the Wi-Fi, for APN, and for mobile network. Under user buttons, you can configure the hardware buttons which is present in the device. You need to put different uh, modes corresponding to different uh, use case. And there is barcode to import different uh, barcode profiles. Hardware control, this is to control different uh, hardware settings in the device. And there are other settings like language, volume, sound and notification, display, touchscreen mode. This will help to you know select different touchscreen modes in the device. Then under system, you have this command where you can enter uh, Panasonic intents in order to run different applications. Under security, you have these permission settings. Under staging, you can you can select enterprise reset versus factory reset. Then there is apps where you can whitelist or backlist uh, different applications. An MDM kiosk mode this is to select different user interfaces in the device and then under uh, storage this is where you can select the uh, location for a file so now I'm going to use the park tool to configure a device so device on the right side is Tubbook FZA3 so under user button manager you see the left and right side button are set to do nothing so I'm going to enable them to trigger barcode reader. Then I will be disabling the recent and the back button. And also I am going to remove restart from the power menu. And also by pressing A3, I would like to uh, trigger the menu. So I entered the required modes. Here I'm entering number 17 for barcode reader. These numbers, you can get it from the manual. I just entered for the short and the long press. Then under power of menu, I hit the restart. And then under UI menu, I'm going to hide the recent and the back button. So when I press the barcode, you see this QR code. This you can uh, use to scan. And also you can save the SQL file as a settings.tv file. This can be used through an MDM. So now I'm going to open the Panasonic Rapid Configuration tool in the device. Press staging, scan this QR code and uh, once this is scanned you will see a message on the device that says kitting is done so now we go back to the user user button manager and you see the left and right side button are set for barcode scanner and the back and the recent button are also not working right now i just did a shutdown of the just the screen and then resumed it now you can see the restart option is gone from the power menu and also the back and the recent button are gone.